Space Engineers. One of the few game titles that doesn't describe what it is or be intentionally flashy and nothing else. Like Minecraft, you mine and you craft. Call of Duty, there's a call to duty, or it's a first person shooter. What does that tell me about the game, right? So, Space Engineers is about space engineers. So, let's ask the question, what is a space engineer? Well, you are. As a player of the game, you perform the duties of a space engineer, and those duties roughly compiled to the uh, Wikipedia 2077 loading screens are to use science, mathematics, astronomy, physics, propulsion technology, material science, structural analysis, manufacturing, and the use of ingenuity to solve practical problems in space. These problems may involve military and civilian tasks. Space engineers hold a special place in my heart because it makes me feel intelligent while I'm building, powerful when I attack, wise when I retreat from a battle at the right time, and yet it also makes me feel humble with every mistake. Nothing feels like a game over even when you lose everything in a crash or a poorly planned assault. The game is a perfect sandbox for the intelligent and the best place to learn for the uninformed. It taught me about the difficulty of hitting targets from above, the necessity to work as a team, how to use firing arcs to my advantage when planning a ship, how to structure armor that is effective and not wasteful of resources. These may not seem useful outside of the game, but they've given me a distinct advantage when moving into other vehicle sandbox games like Besiege. The main thing I love about Space Engineers, though, is that it keeps asking myself if I can do something. In most games, it's how do I do this? Will the game allow this? But in Space Engineers, it's never really that. In Space Engineers, to do something cool, I have to push myself and set a new level for my abilities. Granted, I've not done anything revolutionary like the RTS mod that's on the front page of the workshop right now. But what I have done is the best that can be done from what I've seen, and that gives me hope that I am good and that I can do good. I try not to talk about it much in public, but I think very little of myself. Rather this is natural or because of mental baggage I have from my mom's abuse and relationship betrayals in the past, I don't know. But this game makes me forget about my own inadequacies and staves off my suicidal tendencies for another day. It allows me to do anything, truly anything, I put my mind to, and forces me to elevate myself in how I look at problems, but also in important areas like self-forgiveness for my mistakes, believing that I can live in a future without worrying about my past. Stopping my tendencies to want to be somewhere else instead of making the best out of where I am. And believing that I am genuinely intelligent, etc, etc. I often must put up a front of false confidence and this game allows me to take that wall down and expose myself to the people I'm around or to the world for just a little while. The people at KSH, Keen Software House, probably know they've inspired tens or even hundreds of thousands to pursue a career in STEM, especially in spaceflight, and that they enable almost 5 million people to have an incredible experience that they continue to improve upon. But I wonder if anyone knows that their work has saved my life, or potentially the lives of many others. We believe that one of the strongest forces in the universe is the need to create. Every time we build something out of nothing, every time we give shape and organization to something that had no structure, we are creating a miracle. We need to create. Creating is our destiny. It is why we were put into this universe. We push the limits of what is perceived a realistic goal. We turn the impossible to the improbable. 
and the improbable to the complete. We choose to believe that everything is possible. Our imagination is our ultimate tool. It has no boundaries.